For the first time in nearly 30 years, change is coming to the San Antonio skyline. A historic vote this morning by the city council paves the way for the construction of the city's first new high rise since 1989. Our Corey Smith is live downtown to walk us through the agreements. Corey? Well, Charles, this agreement involves three major players here in San Antonio, and the deal goes as follows Frost Bank will sell the Frost Bank Tower to the city of San Antonio, which will use it to house more than 1,300 employees. The city will then sell five properties, including this parking lot here behind me, to Rackspace founder Graham Weston's development firm, Weston Urban. Weston Urban will then turn this parking lot into the home of a new 400,000 square foot office tower that will serve as the new headquarters for Frost Bank. So a lot of moving parts here, but city council members say bringing them all together has created a seminal moment in the decade of downtown. This is one of the greatest things that's happened in downtown in a very long time. It might sound like hyperbole, but council members believe this deal could be a major catalyst in the revitalization of the city's urban core. We think this tower will not be the last tower to be built in the downtown, that you'll see a sense of the decade of downtown really coming to life. City leaders say the deal will spur economic development and talent retention by adding office and retail space to the central business district. It will also create 265 apartment units by 2023, getting more people living downtown. Frost Bank will occupy 250,000 square feet of that space. There will be an additional 150,000 square feet that we can lease out, or Western Urban can lease out to other tenants. It will help us recruit and retain employees in our downtown area. The deal also allows the city to reduce the number of facilities on its books, saving taxpayers nearly $4 million per year. This is an incredible deal for downtown. The high rise will be built in Robert Trevino's district. For him, if there's anything more exciting than the project's potential, it's the design process. Architecturally, I think it's going to really sort of help to spurn an, uh, a whole new uh, look and feel and, and uh, really rebrand our city in a very positive way. Now, today we're learning that the design process has actually been turned into a competition, and that is expected to take the next year, which means construction would start in about fall of 2016, and barring any major delays, the building will be complete by spring of 2019. We're live downtown. Corey Smith, KSAT 12 News.